My name is Adam Novendorn and today I'm going to do an online exam, uh, a VMware exam, and it's going to be the VCP with MSXT exam. So please come forward. I have the email in front of me here uh, that basically reminded me yesterday that I have an online proctored exam and it says action needed. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I needed to do some tests with the laptop. I already done that. I'm um, pretty sure I have to do it again. So um, I'm going to log in to my my VMware account because I need to log into the actual Prometric View uh, portal. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. And it's going to work with single sign-on. So let me first log into the My VMware Edu Education website. Now I'm logged in. Let me think. Okay, and now. Let's go to the actual, oh, I think I need to go to the website. So here I have the OnView website in front of me and it tells me to run a system test. I've already done this, schedule exam, I've already done that. And I need to begin the exam. So in order to begin the exam, I need to log in. So let's log in. And I'm lost. I think I need to go to VCP, Network Virtualization. And it already gives me a reminder that I have to... Okay, now I'm not sure what to do now, but I'm going to... Go to the exam anyway and then pass the following exam, schedule an exam. I think it will automatically bring me to the person view website here. Yeah, there you go. So, um, close this message. How do you want to take the exam? I'm not sure what to do now. Log into my profile. Oh, here. Open online exam. So now I'm actually logged into the uh, to the person view portal. And let me just click on this here. And I can click a button here which says begin exam. So let's do that. Not sure what's going to happen now. So I got an access code here. So uh, I know that I need to open the actual application, the OnView application, and I need to copy that access code, copy access code uh, into this application here, the OnView app. Let me just copy paste it. And I need to type in my telephone number. There's my telephone number. Um, where's my phone? <laughs> my wife actually has my phone so uh, this is where we're going to swap phones so I can use my phone to follow the instructions so here's my phone and um, let's close my email because it makes sounds I don't want to get distracted during the exam um, and I've entered my phone number now and I click next and it asks me to verify if I'm 18 years or older. And I am, so let's get started. And uh, it does a system check. So it checks the webcam, it checks my internet speed, and it checks the microphone uh, if, if, you can, if, they, if they can hear me. I don't know who they is, but I guess you don't have a proctor. So it says the system checks have all been checked. Three checks here. So let's hit next. 
and it it asks me to create some verification for photos. So um, I enter and I want to receive a text message. Um, let's hit next, and I will receive a text message right now. I hope. There it is, and it will provide me a link. So I go to that link here and it says take a photo of yourself in your testing workspace so this is me taking a photo of myself right now let's do that i probably can retake that so yeah i'm going to use this photo and i'm going to hit continue it's now uploading the photo and it's probably okay. And then it asks me to uh, provide a photo of my identification. I have my passport here beside me and I have to select the issuing country, which is the Netherlands in this case. Let me go to the Netherlands, done. And I need to make a picture of my passport. So let's do that. Hit next and take a passport photo picture. There you go. So here's a picture, I'm going to use it, continue, it's uploading the photo, full name and face must be clearly visible, identification cannot be expired, only, only take a photo of the ID page. I done that, so let's hit continue. It's all very exciting. I still need to do the exam and I... Okay, prepare your workspace. So now I'm getting some instructions here. Ensure that you're not disturbed by anyone. So my daughter is somewhere there, but she will go away. Clear notes, clear notes, note taking boards and equipment. Um, so my desk is kind of empty. Disconnect extra monitors, uh, projection televisions. I already disconnected the monitor. Um, place food and smoking equipment out of sight. Smoking equipment. Um, so, and the last one is move electronic devices, headphones, and watches out of arm's reach. So, probably not this phone, but the rest should be gone. So, let me click next, and it asks me to create a few pictures. So, one from the front, so front of my desk, then from the back, and then left and right. So let's go take the first one first, front of the desk. So let me do that. Can you please show what I'm making a picture of? A bunch of clothes. So this is uploading the picture right now. And now it asks me to create a back photo, something like this. Let me remove the food. Food, quick. I'm going to use this photo and then from the left, that's this side here, take the left photo, there's my whiteboard, as you can see there are some things written down, so maybe I should even clear these out, otherwise maybe a problem. Oh, school work of my daughter. Let me get this. Because I don't want to get into any trouble here. Should have thought of that earlier. Anyway, let's put the chair there and take the picture on the left. On the right, the photo. Your workspace photos are complete. I should hit continue right now, so I'm not going to do that. Photo uploading is complete. No mobile photos are allowed within arm's reach of the duration of the exam. So, 
Um, okay. So let me hit refresh here. See what it does. Exam rules. No one is permitted in your work area for any reason. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to put my phone away. Not an arm's reach, so it's probably going to be here. Let me take a sip of my drink. And I'm going to say goodbye because I'm going to start now. And at the end, you will see if I passed or not. Goodbye for now. Hi again. I just uh, took the exam and I'm finished now. Um, when the video was stopped, um, the the things that I needed to do, uh, there were a few things that I needed to do, so uh, uh, I needed to close all the applications of my laptop, uh, uh, or my my running application, so I did that, and the, 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 the on-view software basically checks if you have anything open, um, so I closed all the application, and I think, uh, oh yeah, it, it said I had to wait 15 minutes while my details were checked. So I guess all the information that I that were uploaded, like the pictures, uh, my currently uh, my 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 webcam that was on, and my uh, ID picture was all verified. And suddenly, after I guess 10 minutes, a chat screen popped up, and it said a name, and then me, and then I was okay. Why? I said uh, hello? Question mark. Pretty, this is kind of new for me, right? So um, I, said, I said, I said hello, and then uh, suddenly out of the blue, somebody, well, somebody said hi, and uh, somebody asked me, can I call you? I thought, uh, yeah, but my phone is like over there, and uh, how do you want to do this? And uh, for, suddenly a voice uh, said something to me through, the, through my laptop. So basically I had a voice connection with someone. And there was this, this box where it says record, so I was recorded all the time, um, which is fun. Uh, and and this, this voice talked to me and it was a real person. And, and, and uh, basically it was a she and she, she asked me uh, if I could lift up my laptop and show my desk. So I did that, I lifted up my laptop and I just did like, oh, this is my desk. And uh, then she said, okay, wait a minute. And it actually took two minutes, but anyway. So uh, after two minutes, uh, some kind of message came on my on my screen that I needed to accept if uh, the, if OnView was going, or could take over my, my laptop actually. So they're, they're doing some kind of remote desktop thing not sure how it works, but anyway, so uh, I said I had to click yes, obviously, because otherwise uh, uh, I couldn't do the exam. So I clicked yes, and eventually uh, she has, she said to me, okay, yeah, you can start now. So if I, eventually uh, I saw my desktop screen, or my, my, my desktop screen, and um, the exam, like we're used to it at a, at a, at a proctored view center, or whatever, Prometric Center, where you actually do the exam, exactly the same screen appeared on, on my laptop, and I could start and begin the exam, and I did the exam. And, um, oh, I was recorded all the time. I didn't hear anything. Uh, and at the end, uh, yeah, I got my score, or I got my score report presented to me. Um, as you can see here, it's still on the screen here. Um, and if you look closely, it says um, that I passed, right? So, uh, good news, very exciting experience. Um, yeah, I, had, I have to say that uh, the beginning was a little bit too exciting because I had the pictures and... Anyway, um, it is uh, better to go outside at the moment, I guess. Um, and even most exam centers are not even open, especially here in the country, not. So this is a good way to do the exam anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, this was my remote exam experience.
बाय